approaches the end of a nearly century-long era. They would love to win academically, mathematically. They are still in with the chance of claiming the title as uh, they take on Kaiser Chiefs, who are currently table-topping. Kaiser Chiefs line up as follows. It's effectively the side that ended after substitutions uh, against Momolodi Sundowns on Thursday. So Daniel Akpe maintains his uh, place in goal for this Chiefs outfit. An opportunity then for the likes of Kieran Bacchus to start and Kamabiliat back in the starting lineup for Ernst Bindorp's team. He looks uh, rather relaxed, all things considered, as uh, Momolodi Sundown earned his stripes previously. And gets us underway, does uh, Victor Shlungwani, who was uh, last referee of the season in 2011-2012 season, but a man who served with this. Which is going to be a real test for them. Genuine early test indeed, but missed fits. And it's a brilliantly taken set piece that was getting his head on the end of a curling set piece. Let's look at the market, non-existent, because it's more of a free header. I'm challenged by Muromwanda. Kubaga in the middle with Kieran Bacchus. It's a new midfield combination effectively for Kaiser Chiefs. And maybe this is a pile of throwing. Caution to the wind is a, a tap back almost to the path of uh, Ricardo Goss. It looked relatively tame, but really ended up tucking in. Fine save from Goss in the end. Well, you look at the positioning of that man, Nurkovic, going to the far post. Mr. unable to challenge on this occasion. I suppose we should also make mention of uh, the Dube birds flying high once again. Shall we, uh, just to confirm, for those of you who may not have heard, it is Swallows who have uh, won the Glad Africa Championship. It is special. Here we go. Close the Chiefs. Biliat. Searching to rediscover that form on time at uh, Sundowns. Ricardo Goss, that wasn't really as testing couple of saves but this was this a cross or an attempted shot we asked those questions yeah it, oh, Wayne Sunderland's yesterday two penalties there he saves half a dozen saves and two in the second half great chance here for Kaiser Chiefs to take the lead no shot coming in from Parker he's not the same I mean I was about to say he, he's not the same we had a similar situation the when they lost against this uh, Chiefs jersey a couple of seasons ago, that might have been a shot taken there. Yes. He does everything right. I mean, he kept his eyes on the ball by quality football, generally. The tester here, potentially. It'll fall kindly to Dante. Will he take the shot? He looked for space. Jukuman just calling for it, but he's not getting the delivery as... Uh, I'm starting to believe it is bit for vets who are bringing the cross from the right-hand side. It is Dante who then has to improvise under pressure from Muleko. Tricky one, but he wasn't going to take a chance. It's a tricky ball. I think it was going to hit the crossbar, but... Uh, He's done this campaign after the lead was entirely evaporated by a sundown side. As Bitbit Fitz look for the opener here. Chukumanja potentially with a chance. Will he tee it up? Will he go for goal? He goes for... Yeah, he has matured his Chiefs go on the attack here and appeals for a penalty that has no, not been good. awarded. Again, it's a flurry down that left flank and Frosler heavily involved. The eyes fall on to Victor Kumwane. Guys, the Chiefs. And genuinely concerning. Daniel Lachbey, who's had a blessed year and has had a quality season is not going to be able to continue in this tie now someone needs to start talking to concern for Daniel Akpe who has continued to impress in goal for Kaiser Chiefs he's now unfortunately in the field of play injured so the Super Eagles keeper replaced by the youngster who once played at Bitvest Bits Juniors before making his way to the uh, youth setup at Kaiser Chiefs and playing for the come together with his opponent, Futsu Muleko, who's been uh, <laughs> in the war, so to speak, in the opening five odd minutes of this tie. A couple of really big challenges already. Well, he's got two things to deal with. You've got Santi, who's just in front of him. And you've got Hoto who will try and make the runs just behind him to try and st stretch him from one down Matoho. Cardoso has got to deal with Matupu. 
Payne. This is his third appearance, the first in which he's come off the bench. Which he started the first match of the season at uh, Highlands Park. A 3-2 game. Header comes in here. Goss Nyat. Nang in midfield. For Alexander, who's probed forward. Nang it tries a long range. Throw in, they could have dealt with it with ease. Toward the back post. Still snapshot to come. It's wide. Back in play here. And eventually the handball call comes like a heartbeat is sometimes just consulting with the uh there's the no time to referee. consult it <laughs> the time to... very tactical in approach owing to the significance of what's at stake here no chance being set up toward the back post here bit of a tight angle for the shot the frustration and concern for Ernst Middendorp this is the frustration that the coach would have take it first time Confirmed a future beyond this campaign. Santi looks to bring a ball into a danger area. Kicking it convincingly. Advantage being played here by the referee after foul committed, but he's seen the build up. Three on two. Dominates the possession in the second half, but can they find the, the goal that would secure three points? Could come on here. Great chance. And Nurkovic gets to celebrate, but it'll be muted with the flag up. Sean foul. Olive. Well wet ball, sit on to the right hand side. The best option was Ajay. He scuffs the ball, but look at Nurkovic. He's definitely offside. And he's very much right, and he believes that uh, by now they should have uh, finished the lead. This goes on there, looking to set it up. Could be, and just well, to create that space, get past the attentions of Alexander, and then tee it up for the onrushing man. Oh. How about he was a player down? I think it's Tanti. It was best. No. Better for Chiefs. A driving. Is it all unraveling in the worst possible way towards the end of the season here? It's all about tick. Here's a ball in his direction. Frosler. He brought in by Frosler. Nearly an own goal. They sit 15th in the 16th team log and in danger of going to the playoffs. The header comes in here. In the free kick, Matur scrambling forward, combining with Muleko. This is better for Kaiser Chiefs. They've got players in danger areas. How did Nurkovic go over from there? The man that see me, he cannot miss when he's onside. Did I see this movie yesterday? Has been gifted an opportunity. And that has got to go down as one of the misses of the season. I've seen this movie before. Time the clock ticks over another minute. It looks like Kansas Chiefs are adding an opportunity, but they seemingly can't find one. Can they be undone late on here? And uh, if this does end nil nil, they've been involved in four of the eight. Yes, danger. Great chance to the snatch it late. Oh, the Kaiser Chiefs side have been in the ascendancy for much of the second half. Might very well be felled by this stroke. How about that pass? And this run, the focus, the technique, and he knows the importance of this occasion. Actually, Carl, and this is what this game is all about. You create chances and you don't take your chances, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened. Well, there it is, the final whistle in this APSA Premiership time.